Hello everyone, Sons and Ducks 2, and welcome to another mod overview, this time on Easy Redstone Extras. A mod that simply adds in a bunch of different redstone related things, from a few blocks to some diodes. And uh, yeah, so we'll just take a look at a few things real quick. So, let me just get this ready, and we'll remove the weather because we don't need it. You can see that we have a bunch of things like a pulse block, we've got a bender, T, and street, along with obviously some redstone pipes, power block, daytime sensor, energy block, and bluestone dust. So we'll just go with some of the following here, like so. So you've got the redstone pulse block, which is just redstone dust and a repeater. And pretty much what this does is it will send out a signal to basically pulse. So if I just happen to say put a power block here or something, and I have actually got some redstone dust there, it'll pretty much just pulse the signal from whatever source you've got, obviously hitting it from this end and then the other. So yeah, and pretty much I assume you can use this to turn on and off the pulse. Um, so yeah, I don't think there is much else to control it with though, I don't know if you can like on the side or certain other things, but yeah, if you want a pulsing option then uh, definitely this would be useful in a way. Um, obviously you've connected up to something a bit more suitable than just sort of kind of trying to demonstrate. Uh, otherwise, next we have the daytime sensor, which is a daylight detector and clock. We send a signal over to here, which we'll just get rid of these because we don't really need those to connect right now. Uh, just get, say, a redstone block, and we'll get some redstone, and we'll do this. And you can either have it for, I assume, daytime or nighttime. And. I think it is just pretty much supposed to output a signal when it detects the following. So if we just do this, it's now night time. If we do this, it's like that. So I don't know why I got the redstone block. Um, so we just go to time set day, and it'll output a signal like so. If we do this, it will reverse. I don't know if there is that much of a difference compared to the daylight detector. I'm pretty sure it's about the same, except with maybe a few things you can consider. Um, only full strength or zero strength, unlike the detector, which I assume does um, between zero and fifteen for the most part. That's probably the difference, I guess. And it's not affected by storms, so that is good to know. Um, we can shift click up or so to ascend or descend signal things. Okay, uh, next we have the ability to use a redstone power block, which is just redstone and a block of redstone. And what this does is allows you to control the actual signal strength in the block from 0 to 15. So when you place in the world it's 15, and when you click again by right clicking it will obviously set it to 0. Means if you just put some redstone out here, you can tell that that's pretty much the case. Just lay this around just to try and get the actual signal out. You can see that when we right click this, it'll pretty much change to the highest point and it'll go back to zero again. So if you want to control the signal, you definitely do that. Otherwise, we have the redstone pipe, which is redstone and glass. And this, as far as I can tell, is probably a way of mimicking redstone, but in a block form. So you, you can pretty much just send this uh, somewhere. So we just do this, for example, and if we wanted to put it vertical or horizontal or otherwise, and still get a signal through, we could do that. And then if we still want to lay down our redstone dust afterwards, we could do that. So we'll just send this up vertically, for example. And then we'll get, say, I don't know, some planks. And then we'll put this here, and then we'll get our dust. And we can send the signal like so. Obviously, it's still going to have the same consideration as redstone dust. Or obviously, the signal being transferred from um, uh, through the pipes will still 
pretty much be the same and um, whichever to 15. So it's not going to stay as 15 forever, obviously. And as you can see there. So obviously, if you're doing it vertically, you can do this and it'll still output the following. Um, or you can do it horizontally if you prefer to still have blocks and not have other blocks just to lay the um, redstone dust down. Uh, we'll just check here just in case I'm missing something. Um, let's see, we've got the power block for 15. Uh, waterproof wire, so obviously you can use it vertically and it can also be waterproof compared to obviously being redstone dust which obviously isn't typically waterproof um, unless you have a mod that can have it water logged uh, let's see otherwise though so we'll move on to the next part which after getting rid of the rain be how many at the time we've got the resistor which is made like so with any dye some stone and redstone dust so what this will do is if you place this in the world, and I'll just check just in case I'm missing something. Uh, so you can right click and it'll have a resistance of 0 to 15, lowers incoming redstone by resistance. Okay, so we'll just get some, just actually place this down here, and we'll go for example here I guess. And let's see, so we can right click this or not. And I'm not exactly sure what the colours do. My guess is it's supposed to actually limit it as much as possible. Yep, so we've got say 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and then 1 or 0, and then it's back here. Yeah. So you can limit it to whatever um, signal strength you want. Um, it's similar to the block here, except it obviously for sort of different purposes in a way. So they test. Next we have the other options which allows you to use say a bender, a T, and a straight. So if you want pretty much something to act I assume like a redstone dust except that you can use it as certain components similar to say a repeater or the pulse or the resistor for example you can then send a signal through these no problem. So, we'll actually test these on walls and on things as well, just because I'm curious. Get our power block, and you can see it'll send a signal through those. And pretty much if you want a better way of directing it, um, you can do that. So, no, so, we can't put it on a wall, unfortunately. But we can send the signal different directions, unlike with redstone, we sort of have to kind of work around it in a way. So, yeah, and you just break and place these easily. So we'll place this here, we'll place it um, a straight like so, and then a T, and then that, and then we could obviously bend this if we want, and so on, we'll try and get this the right way, there we go. So there's that, but uh, obviously you still have the consideration of um, some things like this, where you still have like a gap or something between placing them, um, as obviously the signal would be here we'd have to have it like a block higher for example so we'll put our planks here we've got say a bend we've got our redstone pipe and then we've got our T from here and then we do this we move that and we drop that out and then we have our redstone block so it doesn't seem to be sending it up anywhere so I'm gonna need that so I can right click to actually rotate it as well, which I didn't remember. Um, so let's do pipe, and there we go. So now we can send it out through there, compared to obviously it being here or elsewhere. So yeah, pretty much it as far as I can tell. Um, I don't know if we can, we can right click and shift right click to change direction. So there's that. Uh, Otherwise, the redstone energy block is made with redstone and a furnace. This is pretty much an RF generator of sorts, or generates RF to a redstone signal, or the other way around. Uh, if we check here, you can see that it says it's a redstone high signal, low signal pulse generator. 
Um, so when lit with say 15 or so, uh, it'll pulse and it'll act like a repeater. And uh, dark power on some such. Oh, that's the other one, sorry. Uh, where did it go? Here we go. RF generator, sorry. Um, so you feed it to 0 to 15 redstone power and it will generate 1 to 5 RF. And you can configure this from 0 to 15 RF. Um, which there is a config file here, which the energy factor is 0 0.3 currently. Um, so if you want to manipulate that, you can. Um, but yeah, it pretty much just generates RF based on the redstone signal. Similar to, for example, if you use redstone minus redstone in 112. Um, it's pretty much, I would assume, similar to that, where you just put a signal up to it, and then obviously it'll generate RF based on that, except it's very little, obviously, to balance things out, which is obviously fine, since you are just having a signal stay there. Um, there isn't any other information you can get from it, though, so there's no, like, chat input or tooltip or something like that. Um, and I don't actually have any other power focused blocks or so in here, so I can't really test, but obviously I just have to go off of the actual um, description there. Uh, otherwise though, there is bluestone wire, which allows you to pretty much have it so it doesn't connect to redstone wire or pipes. Uh, you can run it along redstone pipes though. It uh, currently doesn't make short side connections yet. I'm using a T bender or an extra piece of wire is possible with it, I guess. And it's based on a certain maple rules prank, of course. Um, so, yeah, so it's pretty much another wire you can use. So, if I put redstone here, for example, and I put bluestone here, they're not going to connect. If I connect this up to the um, redstone block that obviously we can change the signal of, it will actually output, as you can see there. We'll just get a, another one and see what its actual proper strength would be if it was just on its own. Which, let's see here. I'm pretty sure, let's see, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, and it's not going much further, so it still reaches the same distance, it's just that it obviously has a bit of a different lighting or particle color strength or so that you can notice. Um, so if I do that, it's completely off, and it obviously doesn't light up completely until it's at 15 or so, um, but obviously I I think it said we could use this alongside the pipes, I think. Um, so let's see, we'll just go over to here, for example. And we'll do this, and that's not going to light up or anything because we don't have anything to make it do that. Okay, so that'll send a signal through there. We'll want some other blocks that can actually have this be placed on it, and that's not connecting whatsoever. So that's not related at all. Um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else that it can connect to? I think it can connect to the daylight detector here, as you can see. And probably a bunch of other common stuff, but yeah, for the most part it doesn't really connect to a lot of typical redstone stuff. It's, it does its own thing. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.